I want to invite you to Prayer Walking 101, just some of the basics so that we can get used to this different way of walking in the world. So prayer walking is looking and learning and leaning into what God is already doing around us. And for us, that begins with looking, that God is always at work. And so what I want you to do is I want you to spend maybe five to 15 minutes intentionally on a prayer walk. This is not an exercise. This is, is not, you know, getting your steps in. This is an intentional prayer time in which you are especially looking for what God is doing. And, and for me, I just want to make it as simple and as practical as possible. So as you begin your prayer walk, you're going to set aside five minutes. You're going to have an area that you're going to walk through. Maybe it's your neighborhood. Maybe it's uh, in your place of work. Um, maybe it's even just around the, the house. Uh, just something real simple that you can do. And as you begin, I'm going to invite you to look up. And I want you to pray. And I want you to say, God, give me your eyes to see. And so whenever we are looking up, we're remembering that God is going to speak to us. He is going to meet us. We are joining God in what he's already doing. He's already at work. And so by looking up, we're acknowledging God is at work. And so throughout our walk, I invite us just as an act of prayer every once in a while to look up. God, give me your eyes to see. Now, the second thing I want you to do is I want you to look out. I want you to be an observer, to pay attention. Again, so often we can miss things because we're simply not paying attention. What do you see? What do you notice? What stands out? As you're walking, maybe you you're notice a certain plant and over the weeks you get to see it bloom. How cool would that be? Maybe you notice that a, a neighbor's yard that once was always perfectly mowed is now not at the same condition. And, and maybe that would cause us to wonder what is going on. Maybe something catches your eye. Maybe you're going to notice um, animal life. In our neighborhood, we have all these little bunny rabbits around. How many bunnies can we see? Where do I see God at work in nature and creation? What's new? What's old? And so we're just going to observe what is happening. And over the course of time, as we do this a few times a week and do this a few weeks, I want you to just pay attention to what you see. What you missed on day two, you're going to notice on day five and, and just see, okay, God, what are you doing? And part of what we do is also we look in because God uses nature to reveal himself to us. He uses our setting to tell us about ourselves and also about himself. And so we look up. God, give me your eyes. We look out and we notice what God is doing, but we also look in and we reflect. God, is there something you are doing in me? This idea is, is one, of, one way it's to be understood is to practice the presence of God. There was a, a gentleman by the name of Brother Lawrence who practiced this. And uh, the, the example that I remember, uh, I learned it from a guy when we were working at a restaurant together. And uh, he told me about it, and he said, you know, so as I'm washing these dishes, which is something you do quite often at a restaurant, as I'm washing these dishes, Lord, if there's anything that's dirty on me, would you clean it off? And so that as we go about our lives, we practice the presence of God. And so one way that maybe we can do this as we're walking is maybe we can have a, as we see a hill that we're walking up, we probably have a hill in our own life, a, a journey that we're on that seems challenging. Maybe we can practice on this walk to look in and say, God, what are you doing inside of me, in me, to build my strength up for this journey that is ahead? Reflect on what you are experiencing. Thank God for all the gifts that you have in this. What if we pause as we looked in and thank God for the breath, the wind that comes over us, the sun that shines down on us, the beauty that is all around us. So this is the beginning of prayer walking, and this is what I want you to do for at least a few weeks, is to take a little bit of time to look up, to look out, and to look in.